let's take a look at how to divide whole numbers by unit fractions. Divide, simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or as a whole or mixed number. Okay, we have 10 and we wanna divide that by one third. So when you're dividing with fractions, it's usually helpful to put both numbers in the same form. So I wanna write both of these numbers as a fraction. To make 10 a fraction, I can put it over one. Remember, any whole number over one is the same as that whole number, right? Because this means 10 divided by one, which is the same as just 10. So now my problem becomes 10 divided by one or 10 over one divided by one third. The rule is when you are dividing a fraction divided by a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal or another way to say that is you multiply by the multiplicative inverse. So the reciprocal or the inverse is what you get when you flip that second fraction. Okay, so the first fraction is gonna stay the same. I'm gonna think of that as 10 over one. I'm gonna change my division to multiplication. And then since I made it multiplication instead of division, I have to take the inverse of one third, which is three over one. And now I can simply multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom of my fraction. Well, on the top, 10 times three gives me 30, and on the bottom, one times one is one. Well, 30 over one is the same thing as saying just 30. So basically what we're saying here is dividing by one third is the same thing as multiplying by three. And usually we see this in the opposite direction, if that's a little confusing to think about. Well, if I was multiplying by one third, you already know that that's the same as dividing by three. So multiplying by one number and dividing by its inverse are actually the same thing or have the same meaning. Okay, so here we said that gave us 30. 8 divided by 1 third. Okay, well remember we said, now I can write this as a fraction the way that I did last time if I wanted to. I could say 8 over 1 times and set up my whole fraction. But remember, the idea is dividing by 1 third would be the same thing as multiplying by its inverse of 3 over 1. Well, that's gonna make this problem a lot easier because three over one is the same thing as just three. So I could simply think of this problem as eight times three, which gives me 24. Two divided by one third. And again, you can write this as a fraction, two over one, you can set up the whole multiplication problem, or to make our math even easier, if we remember our rule that dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its inverse, we can say, okay, well, the inverse of one third is three over one. And of course, three over one is the same thing as just three. So we can simply say two times three, which gives us six. two divided by one half. Okay, well we're saying dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its inverse. So the inverse of one over two is two over one, right? Flipping that second fraction. And two over one is the same thing as two, so I can simply say two times two, and that's gonna give me four. eight divided by one half. Okay, well, dividing by one half is the same as multiplying by the inverse of one half, which is two over one. So we're saying eight times two over one. Well, two over one is the same as just two, right? Anything to, over one is a whole number. 
So eight times two, that's gonna give me just 16. Nine divided by one fourth. Okay, well, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the inverse. So we can think of this as nine times four over one. Right, the inverse of that fraction is when you flip it. Okay, four over one is the same thing as just four. So I can say nine times four or 36. Okay, four divided by one third. Four dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the inverse. So the inverse of one over three, three over one, that's the same thing as saying just three. So four times three gives me 12. Four divided by one fourth. Okay, well four dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the inverse. So I can say four times four over one and four over one is just four. So four times four, that's gonna give me 16. Ten divided by one half. Okay, ten dividing by that fraction is the same as multiplying by the inverse. Two over one. Okay, and then two over one is the same as two, so we can say ten times two and that's gonna give me 20. Four divided by one fourth. Okay, well dividing by the fraction is the same as multiplying by its inverse, so four times four over one. Four over one is just four, so four times four, or 16. Okay, 